Up until now the Radeon 780M is looking fantastic because we have not only seen how it performs in synthetic benchmarks but also how it competes with some of the best $200 GPUs. What came unexpected was AMD's next gen Strix Halo APUs that will be using the Zen 5 architecture. This leak info comes from MLID and he calls it the biggest leak of his channel. And to be honest, it's definitely the biggest leak I have heard of till now because the power the Strix Halo APUs will be coming with is so insane that it just blows my mind. Let's check out what Strix Halo is all about but make sure to subscribe to the channel to never miss any such updates in the future. According to this new leak, AMD has planned several successors to Zen 4, where each CPU family replaces a similar one from the older gen, including the Strix Point which we have been hearing about for a long time. It was actually announced by AMD itself last year, but in the same Zen 5 lineup, there is a series called Strix Halo, which AMD supposedly calls the Ultimate Mobile, and is planned to launch in the second half of 2024. According to the slide, Strix Halo APUs will be featuring up to 16 cores and 32 threads and will replace the Ryzen 7045HX Dragon Range CPUs, which are currently the fastest from AMD. Strix Halo, unlike Strix Point and Dragon Range, will feature a large chiplet design and will feature two different dies for the CPU and GPU respectively. This is the primary area where AMD made significant changes because Dragon Range wasn't meant to be a gaming APU series. What is more insane is that Strix Halo is going to feature a wider range of operating TDP that ranges from 20 to 120 watts. Surprisingly, one of the 16 core Strix Halo APUs has already been benchmarked in Cinebench R23 and it came out to be 25% faster than the 7945HX at 90 watts. But the best part is yet to come. According to the slide, the iGPU on Strix Halo APUs will come up with up to 40 compute units based on the RDNA 3 Plus architecture, which is a massive uplift over any mobile APUs we have till now, including the Phoenix APU that come with 780M featuring just 12 compute units and the upcoming Strix Point APUs that feature up to 16 compute units. Here, the performance estimation of the flagship Strix Halo APU with 40 compute units would be equivalent to 95 watts RTX 4070 laptop GPU, whereas the 32 CU edition will compete with 65 watts laptop RTX 4060 and the 24 and 20 CU models will compete with RTX 4050 laptop. Now, even though the laptop RTX 40 GPUs can easily surpass the 65 and 90 watts limit, the performance of the Strix Halo APUs will be matching 40 GPUs at significantly less power consumption. Here we are seeing models that feature TDP of above 28 watts and lower than 28 watts as well. Well, as Tom said, the below 28 watt models will be featuring 6 and 8 core APUs and that could mean if there is an APU with 24 or 32 compute units, they are still going to compete with at least RTX 4050 or 4060 laptops for almost half the power consumption. This also means greater battery life and no need to plug your laptop into the brick. As far as the flagship Halo APUs are concerned, I assume that the APUs with 40 CU will be coming on above 28 watt models and the power consumption can go up to 120 watts. But that's not necessarily because of the IGP alone as these models will come up with high end 12 to 16 core CPUs that generally feature 55 to 75 watts of operational TDP. Still, the power consumption is going to be comparatively much lower than the 40 series laptops because gaming doesn't require 100% usage of 12 or 16 core CPU and any 6 to 8 core CPU will be sufficient for competing with RTX 4060 GPU laptops as most of the gaming demand will be fulfilled by the iGPU and fortunately these will be featuring less than 28 watts of TDP. And if you have been following the updates related to Meteor Lake CPUs, a new report suggests that Intel has confirmed the usage of L4 cache, namely Adamantine for Meteor Lake. Up until now, it was only a rumor as a recent Linux patch mentioned that Meteor Lake will feature L4 cache, but now it has been confirmed through an Intel's patent that was filed in 2020. Meteor Lake will feature 5 different dies as we know already and will comprise dedicated dies for graphics, SOC, IO, CPU and the base die. Here, the L4 cache will be the part of the base die and according to the patent, this cache can be accessed by any of the 4 dies above the base die including the graphics one. According to Intel, the main purpose of the L4 cache will be to improve the system boot and increase the security around the host CPU. The L4 cache will enhance the boot time significantly as it will store the cache data at reset which will mean that the system won't have to go through all the boot and reset cycles. Currently, it is said that the L4 cache will be available in sizes ranging from 128 to 512 megabytes, but according to some rumors, the size could be expanded into several gigabytes. So even though the L4 cache will be slower than the L3 cache, it will replace a lot of workloads that is done by the main system RAM as it is quicker for the CPU to access the L4 cache compared to the DRAM. 
As we know from the previous reports, the Meteor Lake series is planned to launch at the end of this year, but it is not yet confirmed if it will be launched on the laptop first or the desktop. Let me know your thoughts about both of these leaks in the comments below. Hit the like button if you found the video informative and subscribe if you don't want to miss the latest hardware stories like this. Also make sure to turn on the notifications to get notified every time I upload a video and I will see you in the next one.